Over the past few years, Notion has become incredibly popular. I even saw ads for it a few weeks ago when I was transiting through South Korea's Seoul Incheon Airport. I also saw a robot vacuum cleaner there, which amazed me just as much. But this video is about Notion. Notion is fascinating. On the one hand, you can spend hours, if not days, building dashboards that you'll quickly forget about. On the other hand, you can quickly whip up some pretty neat organizational tools that will really help you be more productive. I use Notion to plan my YouTube videos. Let me show you how to serve as inspiration for how you might use Notion to track your own projects. Here we're looking at my YouTube video dashboard in Notion. Let me show you how this works. Now, one of the really cool things about Notion is that you can structure data with it, which is something that you can only do to a very limited extent in simpler apps like notes apps. So I use Notion to track the status of my YouTube videos. For example, I have a bunch of YouTube video ideas, which here in this Kanban board live under idea. And sometimes I'm writing the outline or the script for a video. It's usually an outline. Even if I end up writing a script, <laughs> I can't be bothered to memorize it. So I end up just improvising. Um, and you can see that there's a video right here, which says filming. And so that's this video that I'm working on right now. I actually notice over here that I have a category called published, but when videos are published, they should disappear off the dashboard. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna scroll to the right here, click the ellipses and click hide. There we go, because I want this to be a dashboard only of videos that I'm currently working on. Now, one of the cool things about Notion, right, is that each of these entries is its own page. So. Here's how that works. If I go to all videos, you can see this data as a table. This is a list of YouTube videos that I've made since I started tracking them in Notion. It's not all the YouTube videos I've made for my channel. And so here's, for example, an OmniFocus 4 from Mac preview video that I recently did. And it's an entry in this database, right? It's a, We can think of this YouTube videos page within Notion as being a database that has pages inside of it. Being a database, and it, it's really a table in a database, each entry has some properties, like a video number, like a video topic, a video status, which is what we're showing on the Kanban board, and we'll go back to that in a minute, um, the publication date, the URL of the video, etc. So I can expand this a little bit so the URLs fit. And so if I click on this, for example, I've got this page over here that's my OmniFocus 4 for Mac preview. And I'll, I'll go through this template, but I just want to show that if I go to a different video, for example, this one, um, it's a different page, right? And these pages live inside this table. So that's kind of the data structure. Now on the dashboard, what I did is I said, I want to see things not as a table, but as a Kanban board. The way you do that is you've got these tabs over here, which is just different ways of looking at the data in your table. If I right click that, I can click edit view and you can say the layout should be a board or Kanban, or it should be a table, it, should be, it could be a timeline, a calendar. Um, so I could, I could do that too, actually. Let me show you the calendar one. It's probably pretty neat. If I, oh, let's delete this one. I think that's duplicate. So I have a new view here and let's say calendar. So now if I call this calendar, now I can look at my YouTube videos by the date that I actually published them. So you see that I published my OmniFocus 4 for Mac preview video last Saturday. And a week ago, I published a video, Five Reasons to Use Things 3. Um, before that, I did a channel update, a video on should you use Apple reminders. And this is pretty neat, right? So this is great for content planning. So Notion is fun because you can look at your project data in different ways. Now. Another really cool thing is that you can use templates. So if I go to the ellipsis over here, uh, no, if I go to new, there we go, that's where it lives. You'll see that I have templates for YouTube videos. So here I've got Peter's YouTube video template. I'm just gonna click the ellipsis and click edit. Um, oh, you know what? It says I can set that as a default. That's amazing. Um, set as default for all views in YouTube video. Yes. Oh, hey, lovely, I didn't know you could do that. Look at the, look at me learning stuff while I'm making videos. So now I'm going to edit this template. So this is a template that I, 
I've created over time, okay? Um, I, it used to be a bit bigger and then I narrowed it down and there's some things that are in there now that didn't used to be in there. So let me walk you through it a little bit. Uh, but before I do that, I just wanna show you one Notion feature that's relatively new that I think is pretty cool. You can look at this in different ways. Here's a button and it says you can do a side peek. So you can look at your database table um, and still look at one of the entries. Or you can do this thing called center peak where you can kind of look at it um, overlaid on what you were looking at before, or you can do full page. And so let's choose full page where it just sort of hides the rest. So this is my YouTube video template and, and each YouTube video really only has those four properties. It has a video name, the date when I published it, a URL and a status, okay? Um, now what I do is I have some headings over here. I have a heading concept where I'm just writing down what is the general concept of this video? Who am I targeting? What do I want people to comment? Meaning what do, people, what do I want people to think and feel? I write down some title options. I write down some thumbnail concepts. If I see other people's thumbnails that I like, I'll sort of paste those in here for inspiration for my own thumbnails. And then I write down the video structure, which usually has this simple one, two, three structure. Sometimes I break down the hook in the introduction a little bit and it's a one, two, three, four structure as well. And then finally, I write down some things I need to list in the YouTube video description. For example, if I mention an app while I'm recording, I'll end up writing that down and be like, hey, make sure to mention this app uh, in the description of the video so you all can find it. So what does this template look like when I fill it in? Well, well first of all, let's say I have a new idea for a video, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to click new and I'm going to say um, how to schedule your day. Let's say that's an idea that I have for a YouTube video. I'm not immediately going to assign a number. I tend to assign a number when I start writing um, the outline for a video. I don't know yet what the publication date is going to be and it's not going to have a URL until I upload it. Um, but let's say this is an idea for now. Okay, and you'll see that it shows up here under idea. Now what I can do is I can start writing who I'm targeting, what are the title options, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. What does this look like in an actual filled in one? Let's use the one for this video that you're watching right now, how I plan my YouTube videos with Notion. By the way, the title of the video you're watching might be a little bit different because I usually tend to come up with a couple of different title ideas. So let's see if I've come up with something better <laughs> by the time that you're watching this. So I filled this in before I was recording today. Um, and I said, listen, I'm targeting people who like the idea of Notion, but they need inspiration for what to use it for. I'm targeting creators who want to organize their content creation process. I'm targeting people who are curious to get a look behind the scenes of my production process. And keeping that in mind helps me make the video interesting for you know those different groups of people. Then I usually write down a few things. Um, what do I want people to comment? Some examples, you know, um, which just kind of gets me in, in the mood and the vibe, you know? It really helps me understand, you know, what do you want out of my videos? What makes it valuable to you? What makes it interesting to watch for you? So thinking about that a little bit, um, I find it helpful. Then I come up with some title options. So for example, how I plan my YouTube videos with Notion or how to plan your YouTube videos with Notion or how to use Notion to plan YouTube videos. These are all really similar, right? Um, but it could also be like how to track your project with projects with Notion. Maybe that's what I'll end up going with, let's see. Um, I didn't really have a ton of thumbnail ideas yet, but probably what I'll do is I'll take a screenshot of Notion and put it on the background that I've been using for my last two videos, which I like, it's really clean, shows a little bit of the app, shows me, people always like to see me or the creator in thumbnails, right? <laughs> that's what makes you click. Um, and maybe I'll overlay some text like Kanban board or some, something to, to get your attention. Then I filled in some stuff about the video structure. This is pretty much what I thought I should say. Um, in the opener, you see that this time I broke it down in one, two, three, four, whoops. So they should say three and four. Um, I think I pretty much said this the way that I wrote it down, but you can go back and compare if you really want to. Um, and then I do a little outline of what I'm gonna show in the video. So in this case, I wanted to show you the dashboard. That's this thing right here, the various views. So I showed you the, the, the Kanban view, the table view, the calendar view. I wanna show you the template, these different features like side peak, center peak and stuff, and this filled in template right here. Um, oh yeah, and I wanted to mention that one of the really cool things about Notion, right, is it's really designed to work together with other people as well. So as of right now, I'm still making all my YouTube videos completely on my own, but I am looking to involve some other people in my creation process. So whether that's a video editor or an intern or other things, maybe someone to film me. Um, if I bring people on board, one of the cool things is I can just invite them into my Notion workspace and, and after inviting them, they will have access to all of this as well and we can work on this together. We can leave comments. So someone might, you know, go like this and then press the comment button and be like, um, 
this doesn't quite grab my attention as much as I uh, would want my attention to be grabbed. <laughs> to be grabbed sounds vaguely sexual, but... Um, <laughs> You know, anyway, I can invite someone in there and work together with them. And because all this stuff is in Notion already, that's really easy to do. Versus if I were trying to do all of this in, for example, Apple Notes, which which I love for many use cases, um, it's harder to work together with other people in Apple Notes. You can do it, but it's not as structured. It doesn't work with people who don't use Apple devices, of course. Um, and Notion just is more designed for it. But, but of course, in Notion, you get all the, the database and table structuring as well. Um, anyway, I filled in the call to action. So you'll be hearing me say this later, hopefully. <laughs> and um, I haven't thought of anything in particular that needs to make it in, in the YouTube description. Now, I use Notion together with my task manager, Things3. So let me really quickly show you how that works. In Notion, I keep track of the video status, right? Am I filming it? Am I editing, etc.? And I write down, you know, my, my thoughts on the video, the outline, potential title ideas, and all that stuff. Things three is where I keep track of my to-dos related to this video. So that looks like this. If I just open Things Three, this is my today view in Things Three. And if I just click inside this project that I've created for this video, because I create a project for every single YouTube video, you'll see that there's a bunch of tasks. Now I've actually already completed some of them. If I go to the bottom, I can click show four logged items. Um, I chose a topic for this video. I filled in the video structure template. So here's a task that basically tells me, go through the video structure template and do all of these things. I didn't check off the individual subtasks because I found it kind of unnecessary, um, but I did all of those things. Um, and then I prepared to record, which basically means make sure that my microphone is plugged in all of that stuff. Because I've recorded before without my microphone plugged in or without my camera turned on. And that's frustrating, let me tell you. That's really frustrating. Um, and so then here are the next steps. Right now I'm recording. After I do that, I'm gonna take some photos for the thumbnail, create the thumbnail. I'm gonna import all my footage into Final Cut Pro, you know, normalize the audio volume, et cetera, et cetera. I go through a bunch of stuff basically to get this video on YouTube. And I'll be bouncing back and forth between this project right here and Notion. So for example, at some point I might say, um, write up an intriguing description for the video. I'm gonna bounce back to Notion and see what have I written down here? What do I need to list in the YouTube description? That's how I use Notion to track these projects, in my case, to produce my YouTube videos. I hope you found this helpful. Um, like I'm supposed to say here, I showed you my list of video ideas right here earlier. <laughs> I'll scroll down a little bit just in case you wanna see some more. If you have ideas for videos you'd like me to make, if you're thinking, Peter, I'd really like to hear from you on topic X, please leave a comment, let me know. I find that super, super helpful because hey, sometimes it's nice to hear from you what you wanna see as opposed to guessing what you want to see. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. Ciao.